So Fox ESS have came out with a new battery that looks quite Tesla-esque. Let's talk about it. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jordan. I'm a solar PV designer and I've helped hundreds of homeowners and businesses go solar across the UK. All right, so this new Fox ESS battery, what do we know about it? So it's gonna be released in the next few months. If you look at the pictures, which you'll see here, you can see, uh, well, it looks very, very similar to the Tesla Powerwall, but how does it actually compare in terms of specification. All right, so a bit different from the power wall. Uh, you'll see that the battery actually comes in three different inverter ranges. So you can spec the inverter to be the correct size for your system. So they've got a five kilowatt inverter, they've got an eight kilowatt inverter, and they've got a 10 kilowatt inverter for those that need that extra bit of capacity for a larger installation, or perhaps you need some extra discharge capabilities in the property. So yeah, three different inverter sizes that uh, they're offering. So you just pick the one which is relevant to you um, and relevant to your actual needs. So with the inverters, you do have different MPPTs depending on which capacity inverter you go for. So with the five kilowatt inverter, you have two MPPTs, which essentially means two inputs. So you can have two arrays on two different orientations and they'll work independently of each other. So there's not much room for shade mitigation there, um, but you will be happy to know that the eight kilowatt and the 10 kilowatt interval has three MPPTs. So that means you could have three different arrays on different orientations of roof, or perhaps if you have two orientations of roof or even just one, you could string some panels independently of the other strings. So those panels work independently of each other. What's also really, really good to know is the Fox system will actually work with Tigo optimizers. So unlike the Tesla Powerwall 3, uh, one of the biggest complaints we've had as installers and customers have had as well is that the panels can't actually be optimized because the Tesla firmware won't work with optimizers, meaning that there's not much potential for shade mitigation. Luckily with the Fox system, you can put Tigos on there. So although you've only got two or potentially three MPPTs, doesn't really matter too much because you can optimize the system as needed. So that's a really, really big plus point for Fox in that regard. All right, so a few more things that are worth knowing about the Fox inverter as well. There is 200 to 300% oversizing capabilities. So if you, you know, maybe had a really bad DNO offer, you can still put a lot of PV through that system and generate a lot of electricity, which is especially going to be uh, beneficial in the winter months. So even if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, you technically can oversize the inverter a lot more than that, which will mean you can have some quite large arrays on just a, a small five or an eight kilowatt inverter, depending on what your DNO offer is and depending on the nuances of your installations. So yeah, really, really good inverter. And so far, I must say it's looking quite positive for Fox. Okay, so now onto the thing that is probably the most important factor when considering a battery, and that's the actual storage capacity of the battery. So with the Fox battery, the all-in-one system, the Evo, uh, you get 10.24 kilowatts of battery storage and the depth of discharge, which is the amount of the storage you can use is 95%. Uh, so it does just fall under 10 kilowatts of usable storage. So in terms of your, your battery storage capacity, if we are comparing this to the Tesla, it is a considerable amount lower, but it could be perfect for those households that need around the 10 kilowatt hour um, of storage capabilities, but perhaps want a system that's a bit more sleek. Obviously with the Evo, it's all in one. It's a very, very good looking system. And, you know, having the inverter and the batteries built in is a big selling point. Um, but if we are comparing this with the Tesla, yeah, you are going to be several kilowatts lower in terms of the capacity that you will get from the system. Uh, so in that regard, Tesla is definitely winning on the capacity front. Um, other points worth mentioning. So these batteries can be paralleled up to three units. Um, each battery will have its own inbuilt inverter. So if you buy one battery, the next battery you buy can be paralleled up to it, but it will also have its own inverter. So that means if you have, say, a five kilowatt all-in-one Evo solution, 
if you have another one, that means you've technically got 10 kilowatts of inverter capacity. So that means that the batteries will charge five kilowatts each, which is a really good thing um, because it, it does mean your batteries will charge and discharge quicker, but it could pose issues with the DNO, especially if you're going for say a 10 kilowatt battery and sorry, a 10 kilowatt inverter. And if you wanted another 10 kilowatt inverter, then that's 20 kilowatts of inverter capacity, which frankly is gonna be very, very hard to get approved by the DNO. Now I did ask Fox directly if you can mix and match inverters. So say potentially have one eight kilowatt inverter with one five kilowatt inverter. And they did let me know that is possible, but they wouldn't necessarily recommend it. To get the best efficiency of the system and to make sure the system is balanced throughout its life, they do recommend having two inverters of the same capacity. So that may be something to bear in mind if you do need more than the nine kilowatts of, well, just over nine kilowatts of battery storage. Perhaps it would make more sense to go with the lower inverter and have two at that point. So you're still getting 10 kilowatts, but it's coming from two different inverters that are then connected together. So just something to have a think about. But yeah, the, the main talking points of the Fox battery, obviously it hasn't actually been released yet. So... Um, we don't know all the final details, but from the first initial impressions, it does look like a really, really solid system. And I imagine we will install quite a lot of these. Um, the main talking points I would say is obviously the aesthetics, the inverter capacity, and also the price. Um, yes, Tesla has more battery capacity, but you are going to be paying just under three times the amount for a Tesla battery over the Fox battery. And the final sort of nail in the coffin that I'd like to uh, talk about, as it were, was the fact that with Fox, you do get a 12 year warranty as standard, as opposed to the 10 year warranty that Tesla offers. Now, the warranty for the Evo, it's not going to be unlimited cycles. So there will be a certain cycle level that will be going through at a later date. But with the Tesla, you will get unlimited cycles for 10 years, meaning you can use the battery as much as you like. Whereas with the Fox system, you don't get that. So it's sort of a drawback and it's also a pro at the same time for, for both systems. But yeah, that wraps up this quick overview of the Fox system. I just thought I'd make this video as I attended a webinar today and um, this is all sort of brand new technology to us. So it's exciting times. If you are interested in the Fox battery, I think they come out um, sort of late summer. So June, July time. Um, we can expect them to be arriving in the UK. Um, so yeah, I imagine there'll be more videos once they are released. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.